Hi guys, it's me Ty coming from my home here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And just gonna let you guys know that I finally ate uh, one of those eggs here that has the baby duck in it. Um, I know that they have them in the Philippines too. In the Philippines they're called balut, but here in uh, Cambodia they have a different name for it. And it's really long and it's really hard to pronounce, so I don't remember what it is, you guys, the name of it. But yeah, I was sitting on the park bench on Riverside and I saw these uh, three girls uh, eating eggs or whatever across from me. And I, I saw one go and knock it in the head or whatever, and she had a spoon or whatever, and it's like, come over right away, and I'm like, are you guys eating balut where it's got the baby duck inside of it? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, can I watch you guys eat it? Because I, I was like, I think I've finally got the guts to try one. And they're like, yeah, sure. So, uh, yeah, the one she goes ahead and um, she breaks open the top of it, tips it back, and she, she drinks the juice out of it. And then took her little spoon and just started dishing it all out of there, eating it. And she would throw like some leaves in there and some type of uh, juice. I, I don't know if it was like vinegar or salsa or whatever. And after she was all done, I was like, I think I can do this. I think I can do it. So they're like, yeah, the, the guy right across from here, uh, right um, right on Riverside, uh, just a little street vendor or whatever. Um, she, she, they're like, he charges 1,500 real. And they're like, it's the white eggs. Cause, cause here in uh, Cambodia, the really dark brown eggs, uh, like you would have in the United States, um, they're from your farm chickens, those, those colored ones. Uh, they're like, those are chicken eggs. But they said the, the white eggs here in Cambodia are the duck eggs. So I went over there, gave the guy the money, and uh, he um, he broke a styrofoam container in half or whatever to use as my plate. And then he had this like little cup, plastic cup that comes with it. And he pulled uh, one of the white eggs out of boiling water and set it inside that little cup. And then he gave me a little plastic spoon and then he gave me another little cup with a, um, I don't know, it looked like a whole bunch of seasoning and salt or whatever in it. And then he dumped like some salsa in it. And then he, on that, also on that plated container or whatever, he gave me a whole bunch of like little leaves, grass leaves or something. Um, so I went down and sat with the girls. I was like, so which end do I break open? And they're like, you break open, uh, not, the, not the skinny pointy end. Um, the, the wider bottom end is the one that you do. So. They went in and they took my egg and they slashed against the um, the concrete seat or whatever that we were all sitting on. And uh, they're like, yep, just peel that back and then you can you drink it. So I peeled that back and nothing came out of it. Um, even though I, I thought I broke the barrier and everything, I started eating. And then after a while, then the juices started coming out and I was able to, to drink that. And it it tasted like, like chicken broth is what it tasted like. And uh, the, there's kind of like two parts to the egg there. There's one part that's the yolk, and that tastes like normal hard-boiled egg yolk. And then the other part uh, actually looks like it's got feathers and everything on it. It's the way more developed part. And there were some hard things in there, and they were long. And I was like, are, are there bones in here? And the girl's like, yeah, there, there's bones. I was like, well, how many weeks old is are these eggs? Because I, I heard in the Philippines you can choose like um, the ones off the shelf that are certain. Uh, uh, date or whatever of whatever eight weeks old the next ones can be 16 weeks old or whatever <coughs> and she's like I have no idea <laughs> so so I kept eating it or whatever and uh, I, I like I said I, I did taste kind of a lawn bone in it but I just went and I swallowed it with all of it and and also I kind of figured that maybe it's feathers too or whatever you know and then at the very end of it, my last bite, there was a, um, there was actually a, like a lawn bone in there. I would say it was probably an inch lawn and probably uh, not quite an eighth of an inch thick or whatever. And I was not gonna chew that thing up. Uh, so I, uh, um, which I didn't chew up the first ones either. I didn't want to have anything freaking pierce my throat or something, but I went ahead and I spit out that bone. But yeah, it just amazes me that they actually have a like one inch lawn bones inside of there. So, and yeah, yeah. Um, overall, it was a good experience. I, 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 like I said, I'm proud of myself. I finally tried it. And uh, um, I don't know if I try it again. I mean, it, 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 it kind of tastes like chicken broth, but like, I don't know. It's, it's just something to tell your family and friends that you actually tried it.
And then, uh, yeah, that 1,500 reel, you guys, that's less than 50 cents. So really cheap to try it. And then here on Monday, I went in for my uh, uh, three month checkup on my uh, dental implant here for the bone grafting. And uh, I, I was hoping that it would, he said it, cause he said this, this bone grafting could take three to six months to heal. And uh, so this has been three and a half months and I went in and they finally did my first x-ray now, cleaned it all up and told me to come back in another month. So this could get extended quite a while out, but they're doing a good job on my tooth. And then uh, I don't know if I remember, I don't know if I told you guys the other day, but um, all these years of backpacking and my friends that lived in China and everything, they always taught me to do my laundry with uh, bar soap, you know, like in the United States, it's called Zote is the name brand. When you go to Walmart, it's in the laundry department. And it's like removing stains and it's only a dollar. Um, and in, in Thailand, I could never find it. They always just had the powder soap. And then here I'd found it. The only place I could find it was at Aeon Mall because I could never find it at Lucky Express in uh, Soria Shopping Center. And it was always a dollar. Well, they discontinued it at, at Aeon Mall now. So when my friend suggested I try Super Duper Grocery Store, uh, over by Naga World Casino over by Riverside and they had it but it was over two dollars and fifty cents uh, So I bought it just you know to have it says prepared. Well, I was walking around in uh, Lucky Express in uh, uh, Down Street 144 from uh, Riverside Park here and uh, Sure as heck they actually had it like four bars of it and it's uh, 4,400 reels so like a dollar 25 and then uh, the other day when I was going to get some chips there's that bridge that's uh, across from Riverside Park, you know, uh, like if you're if you're sitting in Riverside Park and you look off to your left towards uh, um, the, the Phnom Penh Night Market, uh, if you just keep walking that way, I don't know, probably a mile or whatever, you'll see the big bridge that crosses over to the other side of the river. Um, yeah, you just walk across the bridge and keep walking down that road and I know you probably only walk like a block past the bridge and you'll see a big Lucky Express supermarket. They also sell uh, those bar soap too. And, oh, I got a big surprise for you guys. <laughs> so one of, the, one of the women around here that I always hang out with and, and visit with all the time, she's funny. Uh, originally she told me that she had two kids. We, like I said, we're, we're just friends, just BS and everything. And, <laughs> I was visiting with her the other, the other day here, and uh, just joking around, and and she, uh, I was like, how many kids did you say you have again? Because we were visiting with a bunch of her friends, and she's like, I got four, and I was like, oh, I never told you how many kids I have. I was like, I have five, because I, I I always have to one up people. So, <laughs> but yeah, she really was serious because I got to meet three of her four children. She's like the, the last ones at home watching TV, so. Uh, and then, uh, okay, yeah, one of my uh, buddies here in uh, Phnom Penh, he's been living here like eight or nine years as an English teacher, and he's never even gone to Vietnam for the $25 and whatever four hour bus ride just because he's been so happy here. Well, uh, his best friend of like 35 years that they worked together back in, the, in Canada, uh, he retired over here in like September, and he was living in Phnom Penh, and he ended up deciding to move to Campot. So my buddy here helped him move there. And his buddy got a house uh, in a gated community for, I think it was $250 a month. And uh, it includes free air conditioning. He, he could have got a little bit cheaper if he went to have had the electricity and everything included. But, but he's like, this way I can, you know, it's hot in Cambodia. Just the other day, I was showing 103 degrees Fahrenheit on my, on my computer over here. And, uh, He's like, yeah, this way I can crank my AC all the way up here in, in uh, hot Cambodia and be perfectly comfortable. And uh, I was talking to another guy down here at the bar where me and my buddy were you know, there and he was telling him about how his best bud moved to Camp Odd. And the other guy's like, yeah, actually, uh, uh, um, one of the other guys sitting at the bar table, he's like, yeah, I, I uh, live in Camp Odd too. And he's like, I'm paying $150 a month, but I, I don't know if he has uh, free free air conditioning at the house that he's rent or uh, he might be actually in kind of a con condo complex or something but yeah he's really happy there but 
I mean, it's pretty darn nice when you can get a an entire freaking house with a yard for $250 a month with free air conditioning. Because, I mean, Paul in the Philippines, he's got that really nice house, the big yard, the white picket fence around it to keep all the neighbor's dogs out and close the gate to keep your car and motorbike safe. And he's got his big garden in there and he's paying like $360 a month. Um, so yeah, he said it's under 400 for sure. And, and that is another thing about the Philippines, you know, with um, Phnom Penh, Cambodia, guys, is just getting so affordable compared to the Philippines right now. Cause like my, when I was dating my girlfriend in Manila, Manila was so freaking expensive. And, and I admit, I've never, you know, lived outside of the sub suburbs of, you know, all those other areas like Cebu and, and Dumaguete and Davao. Just, I, I'm just familiar with the Manila area and, and all the cities connecting to it. And, and that's where me and my girlfriend were living is in actually two different cities that just tie right into Manila. And, uh, um, but, but yeah, uh, Paul in the Philippines said Dumaguete is getting so expensive because I believe it's a... 150,000 in Dumaguete and then six miles away up the mountain, you know, where it's nice and cool where you, where Paul has never even had to fire up his air conditioner at his house because it's that much cooler up on the mountain in Valencia. And Valencia is a population of 50,000 people. And uh, uh, he said down in Dumaguete he's like, I can barely even recommend a condo or any place for you guys to rent anymore. He said that the one condo complex down in Dumaguete is like eight or nine hundred dollars a month it's just unaffordable for people that are retiring you know and everybody in my area um their social security paycheck is nine hundred dollars a month i i look i i've googled like everybody else on 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 google and it you know it all it says the average social security check for an american citizen is one thousand five hundred a month well that might be like the median or whatever but the majority of people i mean just because you have such high earners in the united states all the normal freaking people it's more like that i know of all the normal people 900 dollars a month so um yeah let's see if i got anything else for you guys yeah that's about it for now here text somebody swimming out to their boat yeah they were on shore now they're swimming to their boat there's quite a few of these little little fishing boats here today so but yeah, I'll just uh, keep kicking out this content, you guys. And if you like it, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video from my home here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. All right, later.